What did you say again about Kobe Bryant's father? I said we played basketball at McGonagall Hall at Temple. We had we had the game down there, and Joe Bryant was dressing for a Baker League game. And uh, we, we went in the locker room to change, and he he was in there, and he gave one of my kid, one of the kids a pair of his sneakers, and I thought that was really nice, you know. Jelly Bean, it's, that's Jelly Bean Bryant, right? Jelly Bean. Yeah, yeah, Jelly Bean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that your era? Did he play? Uh, you played when he played, or you coached when he coached? Or you were coaching when he was yeah, playing? Well, he, he was in the summer league, and he played in the Lakeland league. You know, Sonny Hill had a Sonny Hill league. He had uh, high school division and college and pro division. And Joe was playing in the pro division, and we were playing in the high school division. Yeah, so we had a game that day, and he was just dressing for his game in the locker room and he gave a, one of my kids one of the kids on the team a pair of his sneaks and I thought that was awful nice you know that's great that's great did, did, did that kid uh, did the kid go on to play can you remember the kid's name no I don't even remember the kid's name I don't know <laughs> but he he heard those sneakers like they was his mother <laughs> wow <laughs> and I thought that was awful nice for Joe you know and uh that's great. Yeah. That's great. That's great. It's a great story, eh? Just wanted to get you on the, just wanted to get you on the record for telling that uh, great Kobe Bryant, uh, Jelly Bean. Well, what is his real name? I know it's Jelly Joe Bryant, right? Joe, yeah, Joe Bryant. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a great story, Mister Barnes. That's a great, from the Baker League days in the uh, the Sunny Hill League days, where the NBA scouts knew to come to Philly to come watch the Sunny Hill and the Baker League, and uh, and uh, some of the. The, uh, the guys who were responsible for a lot of signings or putting people in a position to be signed was, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that would be uh, was it Bob Black or Steve Black? Well, Steve, uh, Steve was Bob Black's son. He played at LaSalle until he broke his ankle. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Stevie. Um, I've talked to Stevie since, you know, and I called him once and I said, do you remember? He said, I know who you are, Mr. Barnes, you know, but he played, um, a sow and, um, he broke his ankle. That's why he couldn't go pro, you know. And, uh, it uh, was, uh, it would be Bob Black and, uh, uh, what was the other name? It's the Sunny Hill and, um, yourself, Harold Barnes, right? But the development, so, yeah, the people, uh, it's important in basketball, it's just stages. Before you reach the NBA, you went through, you know, high school and junior high school and, of course, the civic leagues outside of uh, school to, you know, reach the level, you you know, to achieve, the, to be good enough to get in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. So those are the names, though. <laughs> those are the, the, sorry for interrupting you. What were you going to say? Okay. We go ahead and get your Saturday started. You know, uh, it's always uh, uh, a phone call is one thing, but it turned into something else because you're you're a walking history book when it comes to Philadelphia basketball. And uh, Philadelphia basketball is on the tip of everyone's tongue right now with the passing of Kobe Bryant and his his father uh, is of your generation. And uh, and that's a great little story about what he did with the sneakers. And well, we appreciate that one. Mr. Barnes, mm-hmm. as always, you, you, you work with this website a couple of times and you, you gave us some good stories. And we appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, well, hey, it's a great experience dealing with kids and being a positive influence in their lives. I enjoy it every minute, so it was great. You know? Cool. And, cool. you know, those kids who want to accomplish what they did, like Don Staley and Horace Owens, and all those kids went on to be. You know, coaches and players and college and everything. It's a great story behind all those kids coming out of that power center. <laughs> well, we got a, I guess there are many more to come. We'll keep our eye on uh, Mr. Harold Barnes of the North Penn Powell District. 
from the uh, mid to, to, to late 80s, uh, this guy uh, had a foul center that was uh, incredible, produced stars and NBA players. So, uh, And uh, and with, with his position as uh, in coaching in the Baker League, uh, you, you got to see who was who before they made it. And uh, so we thank you. Your story today was about Jelly Bean Joe Bryant, and he gave a kid a pair of sneakers. And uh, this is Jim. I hope everybody enjoys it when I put it up. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's always a pleasure to talk to you, Mr. Barnes. And, uh, so I, I got to do some things, and I know it's early Saturday for you. You got to do some things. Uh, so, uh, hey, uh, enjoy your day, and you God bless. Okay, thanks a lot, buddy. You take care of yourself, and have a great day, man. Okay, you got it too, buddy.